Welcome to NASA's Summer of Innovation lesson videos. I'm Julie Muffler with NASA's Aerospace Education Services Project. This video focuses on the solar radiation activities from the survival unit and the life science theme created for grades four through six. The survivor, the space environment lesson, includes four activities, exploration then and now, chain reaction, solar radiation and SPF levels, and modeling radiation damage DNA. Exploration then and now is the topic of another Summer of Innovation lesson video. Check it out. This video focuses on solar radiation and provides an overview of both the solar radiation and SPF levels and the modeling radiation damage DNA activities. Radiation is a form of energy that is emitted or transmitted in the form of rays, electromagnetic waves, and or particles. In some cases, radiation can be seen, such as visible light, and in some cases it cannot like x-rays and gamma rays. Although radiation can have negative effects on both biological and mechanical systems, it can also be used to learn more about each of those systems. The Earth's biggest source of radiation is the sun. The sun emits all wavelengths in the electromagnetic spectrum. Most of the radiation from the sun is in the form of visible, infrared, and ultraviolet radiation, UV. Sometimes giant explosions called solar flares and coronal mass ejections, CME, occur on the surface of the sun and release massive amounts of energy out into space in the form of X-rays, gamma rays, and streams of protons and electrons called solar particle events, SPE. The Earth is to scale in size but not in distance in this image. The sun's radiation is very powerful and can be dangerous to human beings. In space, astronauts are exposed to more UV radiation than they are here on Earth. On Earth, we have the ozone layer and lower atmosphere to help absorb and or scatter some of the harmful UV rays. However, there is still enough to harm us. As you begin this activity, make a connection with the students by asking if they've ever been sunburned. Pictured here is the first page of the activity. The objective is to have the students investigate the effect of UV radiation on an object and analyze the effectiveness of different sun protection factors, SPF. The first page of the activity guide also provides the procedure as shown here. Use the template to cut out the gingerbread man from dark construction paper you will put a different level of sunscreen on each part of the gingerbread man, leaving the middle of the gingerbread man unprotected. After your students predict what will happen, you place him outside in the sun. Every 30 to 60 minutes, check on him and record your observations. Be sure to discuss the students' findings. Discussion questions are provided in the second page of this activity. Students should have an appreciation for the use of sunscreen and be able to share their findings with their families and friends. Let's take a look at some other types of radiation. Space radiation. Shown here is a diagram of the Earth's magnetic field. We are protected from space radiation on Earth by our atmosphere and the magnetic field. It shields us from the full effects of the solar wind, which comes from our sun, and galactic cosmic radiation which comes from outside the solar system, but primarily from within our Milky Way galaxy. Low energy types of radiation such as UV, visible light, radio, and infrared are less dangerous and can easily be shielded. High energy types such as gamma rays, X-rays, and galactic cosmic radiation have the ability to pass through substances and alter them as they pass through. Doctors list serious health concerns as cancer, central nervous system damage, cataracts, acute radiation sickness, and hereditary defects. The Space Faring Radiation Challenge Guide is designed to provide you with information that will be helpful in understanding why radiation research is a critical component in the development of planning of long-duration human space exploration. To help inspire your students, it is suggested that you use a scenario in which your students are developing a permanently human-tended lunar outpost. Three factors determine the amount of radiation the astronauts can receive. Altitude, the solar cycle, and each individual's susceptibility. 
For long duration deep space exploration, radiation levels will be so high that specifically designed storm shelters will be needed to protect astronauts from receiving deadly doses of radiation. Pictured here is the first page of Activity 1 from the Radiation Challenge entitled Modeling Radiation Damage DNA. The guide provides intensive background information on radiation. On the first page of the activity, you will find a background section with information specific to the activity. In this case, information is provided on DNA and how radiation can sever one or both strands of the molecule. Note, it is not necessary for your students to have in-depth knowledge of the process. This information is provided for you as the teacher. By the end of the activity, the students will be able to construct a model of the DNA molecule, understand that DNA can be damaged from radiation, visualize models of different kinds of radiation damaged DNA, and show the differences between double strand and single strand breaks. DNA is the blueprint of life stored in the cells of every organism. The blueprint, or plan, is coded by the DNA. The messenger RNA sends the message to the cells so that the proteins are built as directed in the plan. Proteins are the building blocks for life. It is vital to our health for the structure of the DNA to remain intact. You may choose to use candy gumdrops or one-inch styrofoam balls of five colors for this activity. The table in the materials section of the teacher's guide gives you numbers you will need for each. Each student should have his or her own set. Later in the activity, the students join their models. Plan for one to two hours for the activity. The procedures are listed on the student pages. For younger students, you may want to do the activity together with each student doing the steps at the same time as you demonstrate. Once all the students have constructed their DNA molecule, they will partner up with three other students and continue their models to make a longer DNA model. The second question on the discussion sheet asks them to imagine the DNA molecule is being bombarded by radiation. The illustration shows them where the break would be in the model so that their model will look similar to the illustration. They can then identify the repair that needs to be made. If a repair can't be made, how might that affect the cell and consequently the body? Space radiation can penetrate habitats, spacecraft, equipment, spacesuits, and can harm astronauts. Protecting our astronauts is one of the biggest challenges in keeping astronauts fit and healthy as they travel through the solar system. Scientists and engineers are working to develop countermeasures to reduce radiation exposure and its effects. These countermeasures can also be used here on Earth. Dietary countermeasures being studied at NASA benefit cancer patients by helping to protect them against the harmful effects of radiation treatment. Indeed, space radiation is a serious challenge, but it is one well worth studying, both to ensure the health of our explorers and to ensure the health of people right here on Earth. Thank you for joining us as we explore together in NASA's Summer of Innovation.